Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. What's up if you're new here my name is Sean. I make videos about skateboarding and skateboarding related stuff. If you guys are watching this video it's because you have searched like skateboard fashion or like how to dress like a skater I don't know or you're just a normal subscriber to my channel but yeah if you are new here make sure you do subscribe. I've got a pretty interesting video for you guys today. Someone dropped a comment on a video asking to see a video on like skate fashion or like how I kind of dress to go skating or something. I can't remember the comment in particular, but I thought it'd be a fun idea to kind of throw together some outfits for you guys, just to give you guys some examples of what I would personally wear skating. And I have this weird kind of belief system in my head where it's like, look good, feel good, skate good. They're the three goods. So if I look good, I'm gonna feel good, and ultimately I'm gonna skate good. Like that's my rule of thumb. And what's really funny is, when I was like 15, 16, I would get an outfit on, stand in front of the mirror, and then do a kickflip on my board. And if I couldn't land that kickflip the first three goes, and it, that meant I didn't like my outfit. I don't know, I don't know why I was a weird child like that. There was one circumstance in particular where, this was like prior to Nike being in skateboarding. This is before Nike had their fingers in the whole skateboard realm. I wanted to go skating. And I was hyped to go skate because I just learned how to do backside no slides and I learned how to backslide no slide this hubber at my local park and I had like pretty much a complete outfit except for a t-shirt I hadn't done any washing for the week so I didn't have a clean t-shirt the only clean t-shirt I had was this white bootleg Nike t-shirt it literally just said Nike and had a tick and I was like nah I'm not going skating and it was like a super nice day out my friends were like messaging me asking me to come to the park and I wouldn't go because I didn't have the right outfit so yeah that's how it plays out in my head I feel like because I'm somewhat of an artistic person I take on a lot of different influence inspiration reference as well trust me when I say I've been on both sides of the whole skate fashion spectrum like I feel like now my style is kind of 90s ish casual not too much effort where it's like I've been that dude at the park that had those really colorful Rothko camouflage pants. Remember when they were really big? That was like back in like 2016, 2017. I've got about half a dozen or so outfits to show you guys. And I'm just gonna talk about how I kind of throw them together and why I like them and where to buy stuff, like where to buy like shirts, hoodies, pants, hats, stuff like that. Just to give you guys a rough guide because I don't know if you guys have been skating for a while or you're new to skateboarding and you just want to kind of be more about the culture. And I know this video is going to get some hate from like the OG, like Hesh, like doesn't matter what you wear, man. All that matters is that you, that you shred, which is fine. I don't mind that. It is very true. I'm going to jump right into the outfit. So let's check them out. So the very first outfit I'm showing you guys right now is this one. This is a polo hat I found on Depop. I think it was 20 bucks. I like the American flags. This is a thrifted button up t-shirt I think it was like eight bucks it's like it kind of feels like silk but cotton it's probably polyester the pants are thrifted also they are some cords that I found in a thrift I think they were like seven bucks and they're, they're pretty stretchy they fit really well and on my feet I have some Converse CTAS Pro highs just the standard CTAS Pros and yeah I feel like it's a pretty nice outfit it's like balanced really well black t-shirt and then khaki colored pants and then yeah if it gets cold you can chuck on a sweater i got that sweater from the army navy store it was like 15 bucks and you can just rock your hat backwards to make your outfit look a bit different i feel like it's a good simple outfit didn't take much thinking and yeah i like it so let me know what you guys think all right so the second outfit i have here today is this outfit here. I'm wearing a floppy corduroy, loose unstructured six panel hat. I have a Cro-Mags Age of Quarrel t-shirt on and I have some blue denim jeans that I cut. I can't remember where I got the jeans from. I think it was back in Australia. Paired along with the Converse CTAS Pro shoes. I like this outfit. It's sick. It's very like, cause it's like a band t-shirt. There's kind of that element of like, I'm into music and skateboarding, <laughs> if that makes sense. It works really well. Blue denim jeans are stretchy. They work awesome for skateboarding cause you're constantly sliding out on your ass or falling over or whatever. You can get them dirty and then denim always looks cool when it's dirty anyway. If it gets cold, 
can pop on a black hoodie. I got this hoodie once again from the Army Navy store. Shouts out to the Army Navy store. It was 15 bucks. It works well. Very balanced outfit. Black hoodie, blue jeans, black cap with a red logo on top. That's an old evening hat that I made myself actually. I feel like it all flows together quite well. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. So the third outfit I have for you today guys is this outfit right here. I'm wearing a blue Supreme hat I got from the Supreme store. I think it was like 40 bucks retail. I'm wearing a blue Dickies work shirt and then I'm wearing some normal 874 Dickies that I've, I cut the bottom and then some low cut CTAS lows, low cut CTAS lows, you know what I mean? I feel like it's a nice outfit. It's quite light, light blue, navy blue hat, and then whatever color that is on the pants. It's like, I don't even know what kind of color that is. <laughs> Tell me what color pants these are. And then you can go one step further. You can rock a tote bag. Shouts out to Evening Mob. You can go and grab an Evening Mob tote bag from eveningmob.com. Link is in the description. Yeah, you can pair it up with some accessories. And then if you get cold, you can chuck on a sweater. I got this sweater once again from the Army Navy. <laughs> I got this sweater from the Army Navy store. I feel like I've been there so much that the people there start to kind of recognize me when I come in and out. But yeah, it was a $15 sweater. Looks cool. It's just quite a light palette of clove, of clothes, light palette, blue shirt, gray sweater, and then gray whatever color pants, and then the CTAS lows. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. So the, I believe this is the fourth outfit. The fourth outfit I have for you today, guys, is this one right here. This is one of my favorite crew neck sweaters. It's from my friend back home, his brand Vinylers. Shouts out to Reese. I'm wearing the sweater with some thrifted black denim jeans that I found, cut the bottoms as well. I think the jeans were like, I think they were like eight bucks when I got them from Savers. I'm wearing the Vans slip-on pros. I don't skate in these. This is more like a different kind of outfit. I didn't want to show you guys just Converse. So here are some Vans. I don't skate these shoes though. They're just like casual shoes, but you can skate these shoes. I feel like this is a really clean outfit. It's balanced really well. It's like the dark tone, light tone, black shoes, and then a nice logo on the front there. It's not too much, you know? And if your forehead gets cold, you can chuck on a tiny hat beanie. This is a Carhartt beanie. I got it for, I don't know how much they retail in the States for. I think it's like nine bucks or something ridiculously cheap like that. You just fold it up and then yeah, it keeps your forehead nice and warm, but your ears are cold because it's obviously a tiny hat, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. So this next outfit here is like probably one of my favorite ones from this video. I'm wearing the navy floppy unstructured hat that I found at the thrift the other week. I got it for five bucks. I'm wearing this. Harley Davidson New Orleans t-shirt. I got it for half price at Savers for $7. Wearing some khaki 874 flex dickies. They're not cut, they're cuffed. And then the CTAS Pro highs. I feel like it's a really balanced outfit once again. I don't wear much color. I wear a lot of black and tones. I don't wear colors that often, you know? If you get hot skating, you can rock a singlet underneath, tucked in with the belt. I feel like it looks really cool. I mean, I'm built very lanky, so you kind of have to dress for your body type, which is what I'll get into at the end of the video. But I feel like it's pretty balanced. I mean, like the whole like singlet thing tucked in with the belt, I think it looks sick. It's a really cool fashion statement. And then if you get cold, chuck on a black hoodie. Lottie's hoodie, I got it from the Lottie's shop when it was still open. I'm not too sure what's going on with Lottie's right now, but yeah, nice balanced outfit. I feel like I wear a lot of the same colors and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't really wear that much color. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. For me personally, this is one of my favorite ones of the video. I don't even know what number we're up to right now, but this is the next outfit right here. This is a Levi's denim unstructured hat I found at Annie's Antiques in Temecula. It's like a big factory thrift store. There's like a bunch of different stuff in there. I got it for 25 bucks. I know it's a lot to pay for a hat from a thrift, but I really like the shape of this hat, so I copped it. This t-shirt I got from the thrift last week. I think I got it from a Goodwill. It was like seven bucks again. I'm starting to get into more kind of buttoned up shirts. These pants are just normal, regular straight dickies cuffed at the bottom with the Vans Pro slip-ons. This is an outfit I feel like is like a semi casual skate outfit. Like I feel like if I were to wear this outfit, like I'm gonna go skate with the, the mature older dude that like Chevy Chase, cause everyone kind of 
is a bit mature, that park, if you've noticed, if you skated Chevy Chase before. But then again, you could go like on a date with your girlfriend to the nature park somewhere and like take some photos on your film camera here as an accessory. You got the little film camera there, kind of put it around your side there and yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. Last outfit of the video, guys. Last but not least, I know this outfit looks quite simple. It's just literally a black polo cap I got from Macy's a Carhartt t-shirt I got from, can you guess it? Army Navy store. And then I have some Walmart Wrangler jeans that I just cuffed at the bottom along with some old school pro lows. So yeah, check out this outfit. I know it looks quite basic. It looks like I work for my dad at a family hardware store on the weekend. Like this is what I wear to work, but wait, can switch it up, throw on a puffer vest, boom. Makes the outfit look completely different. Chuck on your hat backwards. Maybe the homies want you to film a trick for them. You got your your VHS camera you found in the thrift store, getting clips for everybody, everything's cool. But see how it just takes one accessory to kind of change your outfit to make it look different? Keep that in mind, guys, because this obviously is quite a simple outfit. Like, it's literally just a t-shirt and jeans, but you add that puffer on, boom, whole new dynamic. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. So now that I've showed you guys all the outfits I planned, <laughs> which took me forever. It took me like an hour and a half to like get all these outfits together and decide because I have so many pairs of clothes. Like literally all these dickies are like, this is like half of what I own. Like the rest of the dickies is like this much. I don't know why I have so many dickies. I am quite spoiled for fashion choice here in the United States because they have so many good thrift stores. Plus dickies are like a normal price here. You're not getting bent over on the price like you are in Australia. Some people may freak out, but Buying a pair of Dickies in Australia will run you about 80, US, uh, 80 Australian dollars, my bad. 80 bucks in Australia for a pair of Dickies. The main places I have found that I found good clothes to skate in is of course thrift stores. Hit the thrift stores, look for Dickies, look for pairs of jeans. Um, get there early, I must say. Like most thrift stores open at like 10 or 11. Make sure you get there early because a lot of resellers go in the morning and buy everything and then next minute it's on Depop for more than what it is at the thrift store. So make sure you go down early, check out the dickies, check out the pants, check out the hats. Honestly, like I've come up on so many sick hats at the thrift and they're always cheap. They're always like five, six, seven bucks. Apart from the Levi's denim one that I got, but that was a different, that was a different story. For t-shirts, you can wear blank t-shirts skating. You don't have to buy Supreme or like, I don't know, you don't have to buy all the hype beast skate stuff because A, it's gonna be expensive and B, you're gonna get bummed out when it gets dirty, when you fall over and get wax and dirt and skate park grime on your t-shirts, you're gonna get bummed out. So don't be too pressed on wearing like the most fancy skate stuff. You can just wear a blank t-shirt, honestly. I feel like, I don't know, I'm kinda of in that point in my life where I wanna wear like less logos, if that makes sense. So I feel like wearing like a blank t-shirt or just like a blank sweater, it's sick. It's like a clean look. I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel are like quite young, like you are like, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, 16. When you're that young, your parents kind of buy your clothes. It's super easy to like, just go into your local Zoomies or Tillies or whatever. And then your dad's like, oh, you got any skate hoodies in here? And then the dude working hands over a primitive hoodie or something like that. No shade on primitive. I'm just trying to give you guys an example. Like I feel like it's better to go out and go to your local skate shop and see if they have like hoodies and sweaters and shirts. It's so much better supporting a smaller business than it is like, just like going to Zoomies and buying a, a primitive hoodie or something. You get what I mean? Like support your local skate shop guys. And I feel like when you're wearing like your local skate shop gear, you're kind of representing and a lot of people can like see you out skating and be like, oh, that's a sick hoodie. What is that from? You go, oh, it's from my local skate shop, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's better that way because then like you're kind of spreading awareness as well. You're kind of representing your local spot as well as, I feel like low key, it's better when you wear stuff that a lot of people haven't seen before because it's like interesting. I feel like when I see someone wearing a hoodie that I haven't like seen the logo or company or brand or whatever before, it kind of makes me think like, oh damn, like I wonder where that hoodie is from. Like I become interested. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Support your local skate shop. Go and buy like your local skate shop hoodie, sweatshop, sweatshop, sweatshirt, t-shirt, hat, Whatever, support your local skate shop. Now for shoes, you can't really cheap out on shoes. You may come up on like Converse at your local thrift. You know, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the normal Converse. They're not gonna be the pros, which is fine. You can skate them. They're just not gonna last as long. So if you are looking for shoes, it's gonna to have to be from online or like your local skate shop because 
you can't really rock Walmart skate shoes and skate. I mean, some of these Walmart knockoffs are like really biting, like a Vans look or a Converse look. You could skate them for like five minutes, but you're gonna realize very quickly that those shoes suck for skating. So yeah, steer clear of like Walmart shoes and Target shoes and yeah. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was like dressing for your like body type. Me, myself, I'm six foot one, so I'm very lanky. So I have to kind of dress accordingly. I can't wear double knee dickies because they make me look, they make my legs look short, if that makes sense. Like I'm quite tall already. So like when I wear double knees, cause they're so baggy, I don't know, it makes me kind of feel like I'm wearing like, remember those old like old school like rave shuffle pants? It makes me feel like that. So I kind of stick with the normal regular straight or the 874s. That's what I stick with. I think I'm a size like 33 and then the, usually the length I'll get like 32 or 33. Sometimes I'll cut them, sometimes I cuff them. Just depending on what I'm feeling, you know? Same with jeans. I'll cuff the jeans or I'll cut the jeans. You can go to Walmart and get a pair of uh, Walmart Wranglers like I've done. Although I heard the Dickies in Walmart aren't the same quality as like the normal workwear Dickies. So if you're trying to cop some Dickies, Army Navy store, sometimes your local skate shop will um, have Dickies or thrift stores. Don't buy Walmart Dickies because I don't think they're the same quality. So yeah, if you're a taller kind of person like I am, this is like a really general rule of thumb for you guys. This video works perfectly. If you're a little bit shorter, you have a different body type, you just gotta experiment a little bit. Sometimes I envy shorter people because you can wear those baggy pants and stuff and look cool. And when I wear baggy pants, I feel like I'm, I'm going to a rave. You can take inspiration for outfits from anywhere. Like you can obviously go out in the day and see someone wearing something that you might like and like you remember it and you'll like look it up in your phone or something or like you can watch your favorite skateboarders, you can see what they wear, see how they wear it too, which is very important. It's all about experimenting and just seeing what works for you. Not, not everything is gonna work for everybody. Like something that may work for me may not work for somebody else. So yeah, keep that in mind guys, experiment, try on a bunch of outfits. Like you can even go to the point of like outfit prepping. Like I love outfit prepping. Like if I know I'm gonna go skate the next day, I'm like the night before I'm like, all right, I'm gonna like wear these pants and probably wear this shirt, this hoodie or wear this hat. I'll do that kind of thing instead of, that takes away the stress of like getting up in the morning and being like, what do I wear? Like, oh, he wear these pants, wear this, wear that. And then my outfit doesn't match and then I can't skate and I have a bad skate day. So yeah, you can outfit plan. No one's gonna know, you don't have to tell anybody. You can just keep it to yourself. Just plan your outfit the night before if you want. Or you can tell your mates, yeah, I plan this outfit, blah, blah, blah. Please don't get me wrong here. I'm not hating on anyone that wears like the high end skate stuff, the high beast stuff. If that's your thing, that's fine. Some people look really awesome in it. I don't. I feel like I look better just in normal, plain, kind of casual stuff. And it just makes more sense to me because I know I'm gonna fall over, I'm gonna ruin my clothes anyway. So I try not to spend too much money on clothes that I'm gonna skate. Same with shoes that I'm gonna skate. I try to get skate shoes. If you guys have a local Converse outlet or Vans outlet, hit that up. They usually have pretty good sales on. You can cop a pair of shoes. Sometimes you get like two for one deal. Sometimes they have good deals online too. So keep in mind, look online. Sometimes there's like coupon codes and stuff. There's all different ways to get skate shoes for less than retail price. My camera is blinking, it's about to die. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Which was your favorite outfit as well? Let me know. And if you guys have a kind of go-to outfit that you wear skating, let me know. I wanna, I wanna discuss with you guys. I wanna be able to kind of converse with you guys and find out what you guys are wearing. Make sure you head on over to eveningmob.com. Just got these six sweaters, hoodies, sorry print it up. Free shipping USA wide, type in lower 48 at the checkout for free shipping USA wide until the new year. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new here. Shouts out to everybody supporting this channel, coming back, watching the videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. Follow me on Instagram at Enochism. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for watching the video. On your way back, bring me his son. On, 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 on your way back, bring me his son. On your way back,